Patrick? No, I haven't. No? I'd like to. Yeah. Be, Hasn't happened great. yet. Not yet. We'll make it happen. Okay. Patrick is um, Eccleston, just making a huge name for himself as one of the most sold out after uh, photographs in town. You you really have some amazing work. We've been talking about it since yesterday, and a lot of us have checked it out. And uh, they're not just photographs of nature and things. You've actually gone out into our city of Los Angeles, and specifically Sunset Boulevard, mm -hmm. and taken pictures of not only characters <laughs> but people in um, you know offices here in Los Angeles as well. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> I mean, the thing about Los Angeles that's really interesting is you have people of every race, religion, shape, color, size, and we're all coexisting in relative harmony. And the question is, to me, is how does that happen? I mean, how, do, uh, how does everybody get along in L.A. so well? It's, I mean, of course, you have some problems, but generally you have this sort of like collective hope, this collective dream. Everybody comes to L.A. for a better life, and this book is an exploration of that. You, um, you, I read that you got your creativity, you felt like was nurtured by your mom from a, a young age. Tell us about that a little bit. Um, well, I grew up, I, I was born in L.A. on Sunset Boulevard, actually. Oh, how fun. Yeah, and, uh, and then I moved around a lot as a kid. And uh, my mom was pretty much looking after me from the ages of like 5 to 11. And uh, she's an artist and very talented, and you know, she made sure that I was focused and on track and didn't slip, even though like, around me a lot of other people were. Let's take a look at, closely at the photos that you've, you, you've done. And, and you, you have a particular technique which I find is fascinating. Uh, you, you pay, anyone can shoot Mayor Viragosa, but you put him with a balloon. Tell us the story behind this. Um, well, that was kind of an interesting one because uh, we presented him with a red tie first and said, hey, would you like to wear this for the shoot? And he said, thank you. It's a very nice tie. And then as people rushed up to us and said, uh, hey, how much did that tie cost? He can't accept, you know, political contributions. <laughs> oh, and, then, no. and then we said, well, it cost 20 bucks. And then they gave me kind of a sideways look like, oh, geez, well, you're very cheap. <laughs> and then, and then you was, can't win, huh? It can't be more than $100. <laughs> right, exactly. And then, uh, and then we gave him the balloon. And, uh, you know, I said, a red balloon represents hope. Would you uh, be willing to, you know, hold this as you say you represent the city of hope? And uh, he said, yeah, he agreed. Are most of your subjects uh, agreeable? I know that we also have Chief Bratton here, and I know he's a man that sometimes shies away from the camera, but it has a huge presence when you meet him in person. Well, you know, shooting him was a little bit intimidating because a guy like this, he doesn't give you uh, much at all. He is as sharp as nails. Mm -hmm. When he looks at you, it's like a cut through ice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, five minutes in and out, he didn't really want to be there is kind of what I felt like. But then afterwards, I ran into him at a charity function, and he came up to me, and he goes, hey, Patrick, these photos are incredible. Were the, was that a uh, photo that's been uh, what they, composited. Uh, composited with a helicopter and everything, or was that actually taken like that? That was actually taken like that, and I have wow. video to prove it, too. Wow. Yeah, that the helicopter. Really helicopter right in the sun. It's sun. incredible. And a lot Thank of celebrities you. as well that you shot. I know we have one from John Schneider. Uh, yeah. This is Chief Bamatre, of course. Uh, right. right. There, of and course, he's John got the Schneider. car with them. Right. And you made him. How did you get the smoke back there? Uh, he actually burned a donut in the middle of the street. We shut the street down. We had him doing 360s out in the middle of the street, and then he hopped out of his car. And, and it's just hanging shot. there, huh? How do you get um, connected with these people? I mean, and I know Henry Tom LaVange was a big help for you, yes. but um, these are a lot of big names. Um, well, you know, I actually, I just photographed the governor on Monday for the book, so it's going to only get oh. bigger and better. But yes, Tom LaVange has been like a major proponent of this project. Any advice for uh, young photographers out there who are wanting to follow in your footsteps? <laughs> well, that's kind of a funny thought, but yeah, you know, I think the thing is, is that you just have to do it. I mean, no one was giving me these opportunities. I just created this project for myself. This is my favorite. Thank you. Um, you know, you got to just go out there and do it. You just start shooting, and, and you know, Channel. I figured yeah. Sunset Boulevard has Producer. a fantastic story. You know, you have it goes from some of the poorest neighborhoods in the city to some of the richest Ross neighborhoods. Ross King is in the, in the middle of that photo. You can't see. And you're, you're telling it so well too. And there's Commander Chuck. Yeah, hi Chuck. Are you up there? We love right that you took a picture of so our own Commander Chuck. And you know, if you're interested in seeing all these pictures or a lot of them, you um, he does have a, an exhibit at the ArcLight Theater. It's going to run only through next Wednesday, so you got to check it out. And also, you can go to facesofsunset.com and check out more pictures. You know, we're a good looking.